Hey guys, the Bears Fan of Six here, and today we have for you Mirror Darkly Breakdown. I'm going to give you a breakdown of the fighters, which is solely my opinion. Um, you can listen to me or not, totally up to you. Uh, but let's start with the new legendary Uma first. Uh, the reason why we start with the first because it's the first on the list, but uh, Uma is also the best fighter in this event. Uh, Uma is amazing stats wise uh, 8.7k health, 6.2k attack, 7.2k defense. Uh, you might have remembered this before. Uh, let's show you who I'm comparing him to. It's another legend that already exists. Uh, Zert. Uh, he is basically a reincarnation of Zert. Uh, instead of lightning, he is air, so slight change, basically the same exact fighter for the most part, uh, depending on the cooldown and what his ability does, um, but the odds are it'll probably be basically the same. Um, so he has 100 more HP, 73 more attack, 84 more defense, 8 more wisdom, 12 more agility. Um, so as you can see, he's barely better, just slightly. Um, he's definitely cooler looking uh, for sure. Uh, it's nice that he's air also, can definitely use an, an air fighter, um, another one, considering the last legend was air too, but a defensive one isn't bad. But he's basically Zert, uh, so he's going to be a good fighter, he's definitely worth probably getting if you want a defensive tank fighter, um, which he is. Um, there's not much else to say about him, like I said, we don't know his cooldown or what his ability actually does, but he is probably basically going to be Zert, uh, but better. Uh, let's move on to the next guy. Next one is the Scorpion. Uh, Scorpion is pretty cool. Uh, basically, um, is a fighter stolen from another game. If you've already saw, he's basically in Monster Hunter. Um, Tarch, let's just call him Tarch. Tarch, uh, rank three, uh, Grim. So does uh, dab sensor and clogs vents on one foe with Earth. So it attacks one foe for damage to a single target. Uh, let's see who I compared him to. All right, so he basically is um, a redone of uh, Sarah, Sarah, whatever you want to call it. The recolor of the lioness thing with horns and wings. <laughs> uh, same ability, the odds are it's probably the same cooldown, which is four uh, and two. Uh, stats wise, he's literally just a recopy. Um, and he's the same element too and the same tribe, which is weird, but uh, HP is 123, attacks 105, defense is 53, wisdom is 12, agility is 39. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's an okay champion, not bad. Um, he won't sell for a ton, but he will sell for a little bit, a decent amount, um, like five to 10 bidders maybe each probably. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, for some reason, the cooldown is higher than two. Uh, he's going to be worse. Uh, if it's less, then he's way better. But the odds are it'll be the same, so I really wouldn't expect too much difference. Uh, but he's not a bad fighter, guys. He's not horrible. Unfortunately, I'm doing horrible winning. I've only won once out of three times. I've lost twice already. So I, I'm only getting uncommons of the Scorpion, which sucks, but uh, not getting too many. But overall, he's not a bad fighter. I will sell mine after the event because uh, he will be worth a little bit. Now, the next one is a little bit tricky. This guy here, um, Piporius, uh, the guy with two swords on a bird. Um, he does do Sting. Rank 3 skill, uses agility value as attack and against one enemy. So, who I'm comparing him to um, is Sheamus. But here's the issue, is we don't know his cooldown. And the reason why we don't know it for sure is, I'll show you here with the picture, is his attack is massively higher than Sheamus, um, which is a little bit of a weird issue here. So Sheamus is auto-proc all the time. With such a high attack, it would leave us to believe that he won't be an auto proc. Uh, the reason why is he would actually use that attack for a reason. So every other turn, uh, it'd be kind of crappy though if he stings single target and it's every other turn that he procs. Um, now he does have 789 more HP, 2,723 more attack, 412 more defense, minus 604 wisdom and 673 more agility. The important stats the agility um, for the sting, especially if it's auto proc all the time. If it's an auto proc then his attack's completely worthless, so what was the point? So here's, this guy really completely depends on his cooldown. Um, it could be pretty bad if, it, if it's um, a one cooldown. Uh, I don't expect him to be worth a ton. Um, but if it's a zero cooldown, then he'll be worth a decent amount because um, he's better than, than Sheamus. Um, but that's going to be the issue here is the cooldown. What is it going to be? We don't know yet. Could it be disastrous? Yeah, could they could make it horrible with the one cooldown? Then he's then he's not that good. 
I mean, he still would have a high attack. He basically would be like a. He's just the worst sting all then. He's he's horrible in my opinion. Not a very good sting because uh, he doesn't auto proc. But the, he's solely based on cooldown guys, so we gotta wait and see on that one. A lot of these guys we don't know their cooldown yet. So uh, we have two more. We got Blastirion, uh, the Paragon, and we have uh, the one Primacy Prize girl or the leaderboard prize that you get handed out. Let's go to her first. And we'll come back to Blastor. So Yasa. Um, she is the first uh, STG single target guru um, auto proc fire. So cool news is, is she's auto proc. The bad news is um, she's really, really, really low base starting stats. Um, hopefully the max stats get close. They're estimating her max wisdom to be about 3600, um, which is not very good. But for being the first fire single target guru, I guess it's not horrible, but uh, it could be way better. So I'm comparing her to Stonesong, one of the, the cheaper single target gurus. And so here's why. So they'll both have auto proc. They'll both use their wisdom um, for their for their attack damage, how much it does, their spell. Um, and that's why I actually highlighted this in gold. I thought this afterwards. I'm going to start highlighting um, their primary stat in gold so you guys know for sure. Um, but she's minus, we're going to have to compare base stats. So minimum stats, uh, minus 181 HP, minus 130 attack, which doesn't matter. Minus 86 uh, defense, minus 460 wisdom, which does matter. And minus 441 agility, um, which kind of matters for speed purposes. But overall, um, she's obviously not as good as Stonesong or ELO. But she's the first STG fire guru that's auto proc. So... Um, can't complain too much. Uh, should be fairly cheap. Great for starters, guys. Um, if you need a starter guru and she's like 30 bidders for a 5 out of 5, I would definitely consider it. Um, because an auto proc that's cheap would definitely be worth it. I think Stone Song goes around for like 50 to 60. Um, and I think Elo is like 60 to 70. Maybe wrong. It could be off by 10 on both of those. But somewhere around there. Prices change quite a bit, so it's hard to say. But uh, the odds are she'll be massively cheaper. Unless... Her wisdom scales a lot quicker once she gets to a higher level. No one knows for sure yet because no one has a level 80 out of 80 that we can see the stats of yet. Maybe someone does. We just don't know who it is yet. But um, her, I mean, not much to say. She's she's okay for um, medium advanced players and, and low level players. For high level players, you're not going to get her um, really. You might get one for like the fire dungeon. But uh, other than that, or the guru dungeon. But other than that, really not much use for um, so, not a bad fighter, but uh, let's move on to the Paragon. So we got Blasturian, um, pretty cool Paragon. He looks really sweet. It's another Warlock, unfortunately. Um, his cooldown is one, which is actually really cool. Uh, single target, which is not bad. This guy has a thousand thousand percent bonus, so we're obviously not going to look at that. But let's pull up the chart. So we're going to compare him to Polymort Wormfeed, and here's the reason why. He's basically the same exact fighter, um, just the weaker version of it so his HP he's uh, 1371 uh, less uh, attacks minus 539 uh, defense minus 2056 but he has 27 or 2783 more wisdom and agility is 586 more um, so he's higher agility higher wisdom lower defense lower attack lower HP what they're really calling him is the poor man worm feed uh, but the problem is, is Paragons seem to never go cheap in price until quite far after their edge bonus disappears for events. Um, he's really cool. Um, he's going to be fairly expensive. So for new players, unless you got him from the build, it might be fairly expensive for you to purchase them. Um, he's a decent Warlock uh, being one cooldown single target. Um, he might be good. He'll be really good for Siege um, siege events during, uh, during his edge bonus. Um, he'll have a, quite a bit of attack with a one cooldown. Which would be actually be really good, um, but is it gonna be worth the price buying a bunch of them? Probably not. He's gonna be expensive, probably. Um, just like all the other fighters, all fairly expensive. Um, but overall, he's a pretty good uh, Paragon fighter. Not bad, not horrible, not amazing. Worm Fee was obviously way better, but he's basically the same fighter. So if you like Worm Fee, but you can't afford him, and maybe Blasturion's a little bit cheaper. Uh, go for that. So he's a little bit, a little bit different in stats slightly, but the overall he's pretty much the same, just the poor man version of it. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. So hopefully the fighter breakdown helps you out. Um, still, I'm still undecided if I want to participate in this event. I do want the new legendary um, for sure, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, they messed up my 
strategy because these guys attack quite often for attack all which messed up my nurgle combination which i'm not happy about um i put the new legendary in here and it's actually kind of working out but uh that's the fighter breakdown we'll finish it off here with uh with this combination with this fight here for you guys just to see how it goes um but overall uh legendary is good for anyone if you want to tank legendary is better than zert uh, scorpion is basically um really similar to bronze nail also um so slightly better bronze nail you could say not a bad fighter um who do we have next uh with the single target guru the fire one's good for good if it's she's really cheap for for starting out players not really good for um new player or advanced players uh, let's see here so we have <laughs> i guess we're going to do that way this way and then this way uh, who else do we have? Um, Tarchum, the agility champion. We already talked about him. Um, we have the s zero. Well, we have the the sting, the single target sting guy, which we're unsure of of his cooldown, which could either be good or bad. It's definitely a way better Sheamus if he has the same cooldown. But if his cooldown's worse, then he's gonna really suck. Uh, unfortunately, we'll finish this off here. Uh, this guy's dead. I can't seem to kill the level 70 ones because they just do attack all too much. That's why I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do for this event. I feel like this event's really focused around the Paragon. Um, and you guys saw my paid build by now that I did not get any in the paid build as usual. Nothing new there. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed.